Jeez. Oh, hello again. Could you believe that song is as old as Loose <laughs> What? How the did show. you know? <laughs> the show, not us. <laughs> no, no, a little bit. Oh, my God. That was 21 years Boys, ago. and that was all. Oh. Oh. We both celebrated our 21st birthdays last year. There you go. We see the boys again? There they are. So they look better than us. And we'll be taking a trip down memory lane with Westlife in just a moment. It is competition time, though, and we have a two-part pro Now, our next guests are one of the biggest bands of all time, with 55 million records sold and 94 awards under the belt. Westlife is finally ready to tackle one of their biggest dreams, performing at Wembley Stadium. Here to tell us all about it is Shane, Kean, Nikki, and Mark. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh. Hello, I can Nikki, what are you wearing? And I hope that doesn't sound rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it's 20 years since we did Wembley Arena, or 21 years, so I found this stuck in the garage, buried. And the shops are closed, Kay, as you know, for the last three months. So I've no new clothes. So I put on the old alien outfit from our first ever tour. Oh, it looks there it is, fits. look. And it still, still fits. fits. Oh, oh fantastic. That's, that, is that like the equivalent of being able to still get your wedding dress on? I think yeah. so. Yeah, wedding dress, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have my wedding dress on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, you'll have to get your outfits ready, Shane, for this summer because hopefully, fingers crossed, you're going to be back at Wembley. Yeah, Wembley Stadium, Kay. It's um, very exciting, obviously. Uh, we were planning to do the show for... The last year and a half um but now we're getting to do a second night which is amazing uh, we've been asked to do a second night on the 22nd of august and honestly it's going to be the biggest weekend of our career probably uh i'm i'm excited i'm so excited so can you tell us and um, i think you're giving away like a thousand tickets to frontline workers that's right yeah in connection with the sun uh, we're going to give a thousand tickets away to frontline workers obviously the frontline workers throughout the whole pandemic have been absolutely amazing and just to be able to give something back is just so special so um you know if you go on the sun website you'll be able to get all the details there if you are a frontline worker but yeah i mean obviously the year that everybody has had i think um this this weekend wembley weekend westlife wembley weekend uh, it has a good ring to it uh, it will definitely be a weekend that everybody is going to be looking forward to you know even if you're not a westlife fan you want to come and see a great concert for a great weekend you know at the end of august this year as much as we all thought that was never going to happen uh, we're just buzzing for it now and nikki what about um going international maybe how about america yeah well i mean the america was pre-covid it was all planned for st patrick's day next year uh, we were going to head over there and uh, and it's still booked to, to to visit new york boston chicago etc uh, but just to follow on what keen is saying i mean the year that we've had i mean who would have thought that we would be, you know, looking towards live shows. And I think it's a real positive. It's something for everyone to look forward to for a night out coming. We've had, we've all been through absolute turmoil. So, you know, uh, with the, with the tickets for, for the frontline workers there and just one night at the end of August for a party for everyone. I think we're all looking forward to that. Oh, God, we are all desperate for a party. Mark, you've got a baby girl now. So how different yeah. is touring going to be as a dad? <laughs> Uh, well, it's going to be very different. I think there's going to be a lot more early mornings and a lot less late nights. Um, you know, I think um, like the lads had their... Layla wasn't born the last time we were on tour. She was born just afterwards. Um, and like we were literally getting ready for her to arrive whilst the last gigs were happening. But all the lads had all their kids on that tour. It was the reunion tour, the 20 tour we done in 2019. And honestly, it's just such a pleasure going into the catering room every evening. And we all sat around this big table with all the kids and we were just we just sat back and let them entertain us you know and to be honest with you i'm quite happy being 40 years old and being that kind of like fatherly figure and just letting the kids kind of be the ones that now take over having all the fun backstage and everything like that um and you know the, the kids were forming their own band backstage and they used to put gigs on for us um and obviously now moving forward i mean Layla's going to be well Wembley wise, Layla will be nearly two, uh, but the next time we kind of go properly on tour, she'll be two or two and a half. And I don't know, I think she's going to love it. She loves oh. music. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> oh, in that, yeah. So in that video, right, we've been trying to get her to talk and say different words. And she was kind of like, uh, no, I'm not going to say any of those words. And one day she just went, no. Snow. And then she hasn't spoken. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, she, she 
she's great. She's absolutely apple of her eye. We love her. She's changed our lives. I mean, you know, couldn't be happier. Oh, that's Aww. lovely. Aww. And and Kian, do you all give each other parenting advice? <laughs> Well, yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, I mean, obviously, Lele is the youngest baby and uh, Nikki and Shane had children before I had children. And um, I think definitely, you know, when, when we're all together, we talk about our children and the different phases that they go through. And even when Lele was being born, you know, we were talking to Mark about all the different things of, you know, getting them, getting her to sleep longer at night to like, you know, trying to keep the bottle feeds to four hours, you know, so we, we definitely all have kind of like helped each other through the process. And even still today, you know, we're helping each other through the process, you know, even talking about schooling, homeschooling, myself and Shane were talking about the homeschooling stuff. And Shane's wife was very much telling me, you know, not to get too stressed, just let it be, you know, they're still very young and they're going to catch up, you know, so there's definitely been a huge kind of like the Westlife family is very much become a real family in that sense. Um, you know, and we've definitely kind of, you know, even our children have got such great relationships. I mean, my, my young children are playing with Shane's children online now and talking to each other online, playing their games and stuff like that. So it's just incredible to see it all kind of, you know, coming like that and, be, and you know, the Westlife family becoming such an amazing unit. What a lovely lot you are, really. And um, Shane, I know when you were chatting to our research, you were keen to support our um, Stand By Your Men campaign. And it sounds like yeah. very much you guys really look after each other. And are you always there for each other in difficult times? Do you talk to each other about your mental health? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think, as Kian said, you know, we're, we're very much a family, you know, and the Westlife family. And we've been through everything together. Like, we know each other more than we know our own brothers or our sisters or... Um, we've, we've been through 23 years or 25 years nearly um, of life together. And, you know, we've, we've been through like happy times, babies, and we've been through funerals together. We've, we've sang for each other at our parents' funerals and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's good to talk. You know, I think in life, you know, everybody has, has problems and has issues, but I think you have to find somebody you can talk to. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing to be afraid about. And the boys have been, always been amazing to me. Um, but, you know, as long as you find somebody you can talk to, just talk about it. You'll always feel better. Um, so I think it's a very important campaign. God, it's funny, actually, your journey kind of echoes ours a little bit because, you know, we've all been sort of around for 21 years yeah. and been through these life experiences yeah. together and kind of guiding each other along. So I can really, really relate to, to what you're saying. It's a real blessing, and, isn't it, to have that over time? Yeah. Of the, yeah. and, and that wasn't just a really crass way of me trying to get free tickets for your gig. Thing, <laughs> I think, yes, it was. <laughs> you know, a few old birds would love to be there. Listen, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks have a so wonderful much. Okay. Lots of love. Oh, so hoping that happens. <laughs> um, I'm back again tomorrow. I'm like a bus.